Let me ask you something. How many times have you thought, I want to build an online store, but the idea of setting up a database, authentication, payment processing, and all that backend stuff made your head spin? Products, orders, carts. It's like juggling 10 things at once. And if you've tried it before, you know just how tedious it can get. You end up spending hours just wiring APIs and fixing bugs before you even touch the front end. That's exactly why we're using MGX today. And here's the thing. MGX isn't just a single AI doing one task. It's a full team of agents working together. We've got a product manager, an architect, an engineer, and even a research agent, all collaborating in parallel to turn a description into a fully working system. So here's what we're building today. A simple e-commerce website. Nothing fancy on the front end. The magic is in the back end. We want to see how MGX handles database design, authentication, product management, and orders, all orchestrated automatically. All right, let's dive in. I start by describing the project to MGX. Build me an e-commerce website backend with Supabase. Include tables for products, orders, and order items. Enable user authentication. Connect the tables so users can place orders and products can be listed with all relevant details. Generate an API for the front end. But before we click Start, let's set up our Supabase first. On the left side, click the Supabase logo, then select New Organization. If you don't have an account yet, you can sign up. It'll take you to the Supabase website, where you can enable MGX to let your organization be managed by MGX. This is huge, because you don't have to deal with a separate application database. MGX already handles the back end for you. After that, create your project inside your organization and let MGX handle it again for you. And boom, your project is now connected to MGX. We also want to enable deep research, then click start. Now here's where things get really fascinating. MGX isn't just building this back end in one straight shot. It's thinking, analyzing, and planning. We can actually see Iris, the research agent, performing deep technical analysis before writing a single line of code. She's not just generating boilerplate or guessing what to do. She's studying the structure of the system and making intelligent decisions to ensure everything is built for long-term performance. Iris looks into every important detail, how to design efficient database relationships, how to prevent authentication issues before they happen, and how to structure order management systems so that everything runs smoothly and scales effortlessly. She even explores real-world use cases, reviews common design pitfalls, and identifies potential improvements that most developers wouldn't notice right away. After completing her research, Iris compiles everything into a markdown and PDF document. Both serve as reference materials for the other agents. It's like having a living technical thesis for the project. Every design decision, every database choice, and every recommendation is clearly documented. It even includes study notes and rationales for why each approach was chosen. Once Iris wraps up her research, we move to the next phase. This time, we paste our prompt again. And now Mike, the team leader, steps in. Mike oversees the workflow and coordinates all the agents. His first task is to create a detailed product requirements document, PRD, for an e-commerce backend built with Supabase. The PRD defines the project's goals, user flows, API endpoints, and backend logic serving as the foundation for the rest of the development process. Once Emma's documentation is ready, Bob, the system architect, steps in. Using Iris' research and Emma's PRD as guides, Bob designs the complete system architecture. You can literally see him crafting the sequence diagram, which defines how different parts of the system communicate with one another. He lays out the relationships between services, database entities, and user interactions creating a clear blueprint for how the entire backend will function. This stage is crucial, as a well-thought-out system design gives developers a clear roadmap and ensures that scaling or adding features later will be seamless. After Bob finalizes the architecture, he hands things off to Alex, the engineer. Alex is responsible for actually bringing the project to life. He begins by setting up the Supabase project configuring the database schema and implementing authentication flows like login and sign up. Then he builds the essential UI components, the header, product card, product grid, shopping cart, checkout form, 
and order history pages. Each piece is connected to the Supabase backend that MGX has set up, making the system fully functional from end to end. As Alex works, he also reviews the interface visually, identifies bugs, and makes quick fixes along the way. Once the project is stable, he prepares a task summary, highlighting what's been completed and what's next. Finally, Mike reviews Alex's work and submits the final project overview, ensuring everything aligns with the original PRD. By the end of this process, the MGX agent team, Iris, Mike, Emma, Bob, and Alex, have collaboratively built an optimized, research-driven e-commerce backend powered by Supabase. Each agent handled their part like a real development team, and together, they produced a complete, documented, and production-ready system. Now, let's go to the app viewer. We can see that we have a simple yet organized e-commerce app. We can even filter products through categories. There's also a sign-in button. And since we don't have an account yet, let's create one. Now we've successfully logged in. Let's check if this reflects on our Supabase project as well. And wow, it does. It created an email type account based on our input, which means the database and MGX integration are working perfectly. We can also see that the tables were automatically created with some sample data in the products table. This is huge. We no longer have to manually configure the database connection or create tables from scratch. MGX does it all for us. Next, let's improve the app. We're already logged in, but we can't see any products yet. Let's tag Alex and say, Hi Alex, I noticed that we have an empty page when I log in. Could you add a product grid where I can select products and add them to the cart? And then, tada, it's fixed. If we go deeper into our API code, we can see that MGX beautifully generates the necessary APIs to interact with Supabase as our backend and React as our front end. This opens up a lot of possibilities since we can now build not only front ends, but complete full stack applications, all within MGX. So there you have it. From research to planning, design, and full backend implementation, MGX helps us build a complete e-commerce system in just a few steps. It's like having your own team of experts. What's really exciting is how MGX turns your ideas into a real working application without needing to switch between a dozen tools or spend hours on setup. Whether you're building for fun, creating a side project, or launching your next big startup idea, MGX gives you everything you need to go from concept to full stack in minutes. If you haven't tried MGX yet, I highly recommend checking it out. You can start experimenting for free, build your own project and see just how fast and intuitive it is. Head over to mgx.ai in description below and start creating smarter, faster, and better, all with MGX. Well, that's it for now, Novas. Thank you for watching.